Grail has become synonymous with the gallery test, which is designed to help us find cancers in people who are still asymptomatic. But the vast majority of patients who are diagnosed with cancer today initially present with symptoms. Now often those symptoms can be very specific and clear, and so a clinician knows exactly what to do. But actually for a very large proportion of patients, the symptoms can be non-specific. They might be something like weight loss, or abdominal pain, or anemia. And in those situations, those symptoms might well be a cancer, but they might also be something else entirely, something that isn't cancer. And that can often mean that a patient can go through what we call a diagnostic odyssey. They may go through multiple different types of tests over many, many months, and it can, re it can take quite a long time to get to a diagnosis. And so what we wanted to do with the Simplify study was to understand whether our technology could really help in this kind of situation. Whether we could develop a test that would enable clinicians to make clearer decisions about what to do with those patients. We took a blood sample from them and then we retrospectively analysed those to see how well it would have performed in those different um, uh, examples. And the really exciting news is that it performed extremely well. It suggested that we really can develop a test that will enable clinicians in these really very difficult situations to determine what's the likelihood that an individual might have cancer and if so, where to direct them next. And what we want to do is to get to a much faster diagnosis for those individuals because it can lead to a much better outcome, obviously, if we can find those cancers earlier. It really is a very exciting set of results that we think does give the potential for us to really transform the way we think about how patients can be managed when they're presenting with these very nonspecific symptoms. Based on a clinical study of people ages 50 to 79, around 1% are expected to receive a cancer signal detected result, which includes predicted cancer signal origins. After diagnostic evaluation, around 40% of people are expected to have a confirmed cancer diagnosis. The gallery test is prescription only. The gallery test is recommended for use in adults with an elevated risk for cancer, such as those aged 50 or older. It is not recommended for individuals who are pregnant, 21 years or younger, or undergoing active cancer treatment. Gallery does not detect all cancers and should be used in addition to routine cancer screening. False positive and false negative results do occur. For more information, including important safety information, please visit gallery.com.